guys know, I had been waiting until about July 23rd, I can still remember the date, when Sephora opened in Penang. Say what? And so on July 23rd, I grabbed my entire family, which of course is only the three of us, but still, and we went to the mall opening, and look what I got me here. This is the best little bag one can have. I'm so excited. So I went to Sephora, and I'm gonna show you what I got, because I'm so excited. I'm sure some of you with like our kids are thinking, what is she even going on about? Like, how difficult is it to get to a mall? But let me just say, my daughter is like one, just over one and a half, busy as a little bee, in a like a mall opening. Are you kidding me? My husband was like doing laps so I could, you know, casually peruse the aisles in Sephora, and it was absolute chaos. There was so many people there. Oh my word! But it was amazing. We had a lot of fun, and I got some fun items that I have been really, really excited to try out. And so I'm going to share those with you today. Oh okay. boy, something that has been on my list for a long time, and actually I've got it on today on my eyes right here, is this bad boy. And this is the Urban Decay Naked Basics Palette. Oh, I'm so excited to just like hold it in my hands. It has a very interesting texture. I've noticed that about their palettes. But anyways, beautiful. If you haven't seen it yet, which I'm sure plenty of you have, but basically here are the colors. They are just a really nice selection of as it is, it's basic colors one can use every day. You can just do really nice light colors, add a little darkness to it. I'm wearing to be honest, most of the colors on my eyes right now, um, except for Foxy, I find that yellow toned one, I'm not sure about it, but so um, far I'm super thrilled with this palette. I just think it's like the perfect size, like if you're gonna travel anywhere, it's the perfect color scheme that you would need to just get a nice basic look going, especially if you're kind of doing quick makeup on the go, or you can also do a little bit of a smoky eye. So it's a really, really, I think just something that if you're going to be either starting your collection, I think this is something really handy to have, especially if you like to use really neutral type of colors, or if you're like someone like me who has a bunch of makeup, but just wanted some something a little extra, something a little basic, this is beautiful. So loving the neutral palette here. Ooh. It's a beaut. I picked up this, and this is from Clinique, and this is their Super City Block Daily SPF, obviously just for the face, and this was 40 SPF, and so it's their oil-free daily protector, and I live, of course, in a very tropical place, so SPF is really important to me because I'm in the sun all the time, or not necessarily like out in the sun, but you know, you're getting just like the, you're in the car, or you're going to do groceries, or you do get that sun on your face, and let's be honest, I'm trying to age as gracefully as possible, and it's amazing. It is in a neutral color, so when you apply it to your face, um, it's not a white base, like it's a neutral skin color, skin tone. It's lovely. It doesn't stay tacky for long. It does have a little bit of a shine. It could be because it's the 40 SPF. There's also a 25. Anyways, I'm going blah, blah, blah about this. It's really, really nice. This was kind of like a random impulse purchase. I really didn't think I was gonna get it. This is from the brand NYX, and this is their Jumbo Eye Pencil in Strawberry Milk, number 605. So the color is, I haven't even, to be honest, I haven't even tried it yet, but it's a pink, like a rosy, shimmery, pinky color. And I just thought it was really pretty. And the texture, like if I, I'm lefty, what am I doing on my right hand for? The texture just goes on so smooth and it's such a pretty pink. Um, I don't usually wear a lot of pink on my eyes, but I thought it was quite pretty. I was choosing between this one and the green one. And I think I'm gonna go back and get the green one later, but very cheap, actually. It's NYX, not an overly expensive brand, I don't think. I've never actually tried a NYX product, so I'm excited to give this a go. I thought that it went on really smooth. I'm not sure how well it's going to wear being on the eyes. We'll see if it creases and all that stuff. But anyways, really lovely color and really cheap, so why the hell not? Another eye item that I purchased was from Stila, and I think that's how you say the brand name. And this is a shadow in the color kitten and it's just gorgeous a really shimmery what would you say gold it's like a champagne basically a shimmery champagne color it's absolutely beautiful um, what I like to do is layer it so today for example I'm wearing the Naked Basics palette and then in the center of my eyelid and in towards my tear duct, like in towards the corner of my eye, I just gently pat it on about a layer or two of the kitten on top of the eyeshadow I already have, and I just find it gives it a really nice shimmery look. Sometimes you want a little shimmer, sometimes you don't. And the Naked Basics palette is mostly matte colors. I think there's just one shimmery one. So it's kind of nice to add a little extra flair, and I thought this was a really beautiful everyday type of shadow. So 
gorgeous. So this puppy caught my eye as I was looking in the aisles. I really didn't expect to be buying a lip balm, like it, was, it wasn't something that was on my list, but it was just too pretty to pass up. So this is from the line Sugar. This is their lip treatment with a sunscreen of SPF 15, and it's in the brown packaging. So what's this one called? Yeah, it doesn't have like a like a color. It's just a basic, it's a basic lip balm. But you know what? It smells like, makes my mouth water. Damn, it smells good. What does it smell like? It's like a lemony, gingery. I might not be doing the, the scent, the scent justice with my description, but it smells fantastic. I love it. I also love that it's kind of hard to get into. You can't just pull off the top. Like I said, I have a toddler and she gets into everything and I don't want her to eat this. So it's kind of, you actually have to twist and then take it apart. So it's like childproof, which is awesome. Love you guys must be familiar with Sam Sherman on YouTube. She's also a mummy, but she has a beauty channel, which is, I think her, and they do daily, daily vlogs and things. But anyway, on her beauty channel, she reviewed this, and this is the Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie Lip Gloss. I am wearing it today and I am loving it. A couple things I love about it. First, it's a lip gloss, which I enjoy. Second, it's a really nice neutral tone, which I also enjoy because sometimes I don't wear a heavy lip. I just find it's a little too much for the activities I have planned for the day, like running after a baby. <laughs> and the last thing I really love about it is it has that like pepperminty plumping type of ingredient in it. Oh, I love that. It makes your mouth feel really fresh. I don't know has a reasonable scent. It kind of smells a little bit like MAC lip gloss, but not as heavily strong, like not as heavily scented as a MAC lip gloss. Anyways, I'm loving these. Um, she'd also talked about their lipsticks, but I just wanted to give the lip gloss a try. I thought maybe that would get more wear with me. And I have this thing where I always buy lip glosses that are this color. I think it's because one of my first ever MAC lip gloss purchases was in a color like this I can't even remember what it's called and it was just such a pretty color but I hated the texture of the Mac lip gloss like it left it was so thick and it left that thick line in my mouth it just it just didn't work this does not do that I don't get that line uh, but yet it stays like it's it's very thin <laughs> this is like the weirdest description ever it's a very thin consistency um, it wears well it doesn't get mushy if your lips like touch, it doesn't change the consistency of the color. It has that peppermint thing. Anyways, obviously I am not a going to get a job as a describer of lip glosses, but you know what I'm saying. And the last thing I purchased, which it's awful. It's a shame I haven't done my nails because it's not doing it any justice. But anyways, the last thing I got, and I was so excited to see, I was like walking through Sephora and I came across this one aisle and it was like, oh, the angels started singing. <laughs> so ridiculous freaking cosmetics. I was like a kid in a candy shop and I didn't know which ones to pick, but I thought I would go with two. So I went with these two. So the pink one is Fruit Machine. Gorgeous. Love it. I didn't realize actually the whole concept behind the butter nail polishes, but they're free of formaldehyde, toluene, and DBP. Only one I actually know what they're talking about is formaldehyde, but basically no carcinogens, which is absolutely amazing. And I feel like I noticed a difference when I actually applied the nail polish, like it went on so smooth and I did two layers and it dried quickly and it was just gorgeous. So anyways, love this color fruit machine. Haven't tried this one yet. This is in the color fiber. I was going to say fever, but it's fiber, a nice minty type of green. Of course, um, not cheap purchases because Sephora in Malaysia, it's gonna be more expensive. Everything's more expensive when it's imported. I told you this before, but I just, oh, it was like the best shopping day ever. And I just found out H&M is opening on Wednesday. Like, there's no reason for me to ever leave this lovely place. <laughs> that is my Sephora haul, and I'm certain there will be more. I've got my eyes on a Clarisonic. Have you guys tried these before? I'm just curious about it. I feel like I need to get facials, but I just never have time and I'm always afraid to get a facial because I've had some like hideous experiences. Like, anyways, I'm not gonna get into that. But anyways, so I'm really curious about this Clarisonic. What are your thoughts on it? Should I try it? Because it ain't cheap. But anyways, that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe, join the family. I'm back in the video making business, so I'm not gonna fall off the wagon again. And August is gonna be an exciting month. I have a pretty exciting video coming soon that I'm gonna share with you guys. I think you're gonna love it. So stick around for that one. Anyways, I will talk to you soon and see you in my next video. Bye. This face don't see a lot of sun, so. 
gotta go with the lightest color. And I have really, really been enjoying this product. Not in 